All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Haikyuu, Haikyuu, Haikyuu. <coughs> oh, holy fuck! Season four, episode one. What a good way to start the video. Um, ah, oh, this is long awaited. I love. Um, I'm a very big fan of Haikyuu. Uh, I haven't read the manga, purposely because I love just watching the anime. But uh, it's been a few years, and we've been we've been waiting on season four, and it's finally here. <laughs> Uh, I'm just very excited for it, and I've been looking forward to this all week, all day specifically. I've been waiting for it to come out. Um, so, I hope all goes well with the copyright. We're starting a new series, in a sense, on this channel. And uh, I'm just very much looking forward to it. And I want to get comfortable, because we are going to get right into it today. Let's go. I don't know if they're going to show a new opening in the first episode. I'm not sure. I did, I will say that I just yesterday binge watched the entirety of season three just to get, you know, find my pace and realize where I am. Yeah. exciting times season three was so hype oh my god I, after watching it again i'm so happy oh look whoa who she talked to him Is this the scene that... Oh. I'm two seconds into it I, I, and I already love it. Oh, yes. This is good. Whoa, these characters. I assume that's at the uh the training camp. Oh. We have a little thing between them and Shir Shirazawa. Is that their school's name? Oh, the boys are back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying for uh, the outro, the intro, the the when they were talking about doing their reach, I think that was the scene that we saw just before season three ended, where they were like in the gymnasium doing the chore thing on the on the ball, the ball, the net. I don't know. Ah, oh. oh, queen. Duh, he's getting his height. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, here comes Tall Boy. How tall is he? Hmm. 
190. <laughs> Asashi must be the tallest. Surely. Yeah, this is it. This is the call he got. Yeah, see, this is it. There we go. And since I just rewatched it, I know that um, Hinata got 333. Was it? And Kageyama got 337. I think. <laughs> yeah, three thirty seven. Little man got some jump. What can we say? Yeah, three thirty three. One centimeter smaller than Suki. <laughs> Damn. He already owes him fucking curry buns. <laughs> mm hmm. So, this is where we're up to now. How's this going to play out? Japan. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Wow. Damn. Mm hmm. So he's going to be training with other people, not with his team. Ha <laughs> 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 
<laughs> True. Nishinoya is, is an amazing Libra. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was saying, but um, I felt like I was saying something important. <laughs> Rightfully so, he was the MVP of season four, uh, three like. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I, I was. Just, I remember what I was saying. As I understand that these Kagiyama and Tsushima, uh, Tsuki are uh, going to be training with like best of the best, but that does that not like give the uh, like their team right now, Karasuna, like a disadvantage not being able to play with them. That's crazy. <laughs> Damn. This is going to be an interesting season. Kagame is going to get like a leap in power, in a sense, surely, compared to Hinata. And they're meant to be rivals, so I suppose this is kind of tricky for them. Actually, Hinata is already at a disadvantage in volleyball, as it is. Gotta work extra hard. <clears throat> what is this? Is this Tokyo? He's gone to a training camp with nothing but a backpack. <laughs> Japanese is so confusing. <laughs> oh, why is he... Is he... Oh, is this where Suki is? Oh. Oh. 
Are they all looking at him? Yeah. Why is he not here? <laughs> is he actually sneaked in? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> So he was he was just gonna go with Kageyama, but he's like, oh, I don't want to get arrested. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Huh? <laughs> exactly. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh. What's the coach got to say? Whoa, I've never seen him that angry. <laughs> of course someone who dealt with the same issues he and his in life oh this is someone from the intro Fuck. Top three spikers in Japan. Who are these randomers from like Shirazawa and whatnot? <laughs> they all know what he's about. Sweet. The the uh, crazy duo both get to participate in crazy places. This is so cool. I'm going to see some amazing people this season.
Uf. Prove him wrong. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's sick. Oh, wow. Oh, so he's that's a s small dude. <laughs> You're interrupting again. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Garrison is never going to be invited back. Even if he does just play his ball boy, it's still valuable for him to be here and watch this. This is quite up-tempo for uh, an ending. An ending song. I think. This is like a... This is like an intro. I fucks with it, though. Haiku songs are always so good. It's given like a little, a little ode to the side characters, the non sport, the non team characters, which is awesome. Oh. That's the squad. We have the preview. Oh, yeah, he's here. He's there. So at the end there, they showed um, big tall guy from Shirazawa. Um, it's going to take me a while for me to remember everybody's names in this, even though I just finished rewatching season three. It's... Um, it's still the names are still going to be a bit of a learning curve to remember them all. But I thought, I thought I was thinking, I think now that Shirazawa lost to Karasuno, that their top, you know, their ace, him, um, he wouldn't go to the Tokyo uh, camp and instead Karasuno's Kageyama was sent. 
because they're in the same prefecture, which is like county, I suppose. And I guess only one person from the prefecture goes, and they send Kagiyama. So guy from Shirazawa is not going this year, I guess. Which, uh, yeah, it's fair enough. But it also means he gets to play with Hinata, which is pretty great. Uh, it's going to be a great experience for him. Playing on potentially the same side or playing against him again without Kageyama to be the setter for Hinata. So it's going to be very interesting, the link-ups and the team-ups and the, the characters that we're going to meet this season. And also the ones we already know, but get to, you know, work with. <coughs> um, I don't know how long this season's going to be. Um, and I don't know how far away the spring tournament is. I know it's December right now, and it's in spring. But I don't know how many, like, episodes or chapters or whatever covers in between the whether it's going to be in like 10 episodes time or one season's time. I don't know. But uh, I'm very excited to see what's going on. Obviously, that means for now, there's not going to be any actual tournaments. And it's going to be a lot of games, but there's nothing official. So it's going to be interesting to see how everybody trains. Not just Hinata and Kagiyama and um, Suki as well, who's also at this training camp. Um how everybody else in Carson is going to train as well, which is which is cool, because we, we we like this anime for the whole team, and uh, nobody's going to be left out, I don't think. So, yeah, very excited to see how this is going to go. Uh, I hope, like last ep- last season was ten episodes, so I assume it's got to be at least twelve. Um, a twenty four would be nice. I'm not sure about how much they're going to do though. And how much manga they have to cover, to a certain sense. But if it's twenty four, I'd say it has to. The spring tournament would have to start. So I don't know if they could do twenty four episodes of non nationals without getting to nationals. I don't know. Maybe there's a lot in between. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this reaction, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.